I'm here with Tony Archer to talk through round 25 officiating. Tony, how are you? Good, thanks, Glenn. How are you? Good, thanks. Uh, we'll start with Thursday night and the Bulldogs against the Cowboys and Aidan Tolman. Now, this one was a no-try, Tony. Uh, can you talk me through this decision? Yes, yeah, certainly can. They started with live decision of try, but you can see that uh, when it's reviewed that the hand of uh, Tolman knocks the ball forward. Uh, fingers come down on the, on, on the ball, travels forward, and then he grounds it. So for us, that's a knock-on, uh, correctly overturned. Now we go to uh, Sunday and the Warriors-West Tigers game. There was a fair bit uh, to talk about from that game. We'll start with probably the biggest talking point of the, uh, of the game. It was the Solomon Carter uh, no try and, and an obstruction rule there, Tony. Um, what were your thoughts on that decision? Yeah, obviously it's a complex decision. Um, you can see that at the point in which uh, Lala Hila picks the ball up, he runs behind a teammate. Uh, there's some contact by uh, Jordan Rankin, the defender at that point. He then passes the ball back across field uh, and ultimately the ball's grounded uh, on the far touchline by uh, Carter. Um, the elements of an obstruction is if you run behind a teammate and you disadvantage the defensive line, um, that, that's a no try. Um, the determination from the bunker needs to be made as to whether or not the, uh, the impact on Rankin is sufficient enough to overturn the live decision of try. Um, because of the point in which the ball scored over on the far side, the ability of Edwards and the other defenders to defend, I don't think they're sufficient to overturn the live decision. Um, so they should have uh, confirmed the try. And that's based on uh, the area of the field and, and the distance from the, where the try was scored? Yeah, obviously the determination. There is some impact on Rankin, there's no doubt about that. And there is a, a, a indicators that support a, an overturn. But the fact that uh, Edwards is able to continue to defend and there are other defenders involved in it, for me it's insufficient to overturn. Okay. Uh, another one later on in the game, uh, Sean Johnson there, another overturn. What were, you, what were your thoughts on that one? Yeah, this is a little different. Uh, you see that Sean Johnson runs behind uh, two teammates. Uh, Woods attempts to defend uh, Johnson. Johnson goes behind a teammate and takes the space provided by that contact and then ultimately goes in and grounds the ball in the end goal. Uh, there's certainly sufficient evidence to overturn that live decision of try. It's the correct call. Um, the, the fact is he takes the space, there is contact and Woods is, uh, is impeded. We've been very consistent on that this year and uh, correctly ruled. And finally, Tony, uh, there was an attempted 40-20 by the Tigers. Uh, in that game. Uh, it appeared that Manu Vatavai, who was attempting to bat the ball back into play, he may have had a foot uh, on the line there. What was your view of that one? Yeah, obviously uh, the touch judge had to make a decision in real time. Uh, you can see the angle that uh, he, he has to see and make that judgment call. Uh, I had the benefit of uh, freezing the, uh, the vision down and, and slowing it down. You can see at the point in which the ball is touched by Vatavai, his foot's on the line. So the correct restart there should be a uh, a tap to the West Tigers. Uh, it was an incorrect decision, but made in real time. Okay, well, thanks for your time, Tony. No problems.